Well, there's Junior. He come over to get himself an apple. He was here earlier. And Spike was over here eating apples, and then the doe showed up. This is the one we call Junior. He's a two-point buck. Got two points on each horn. There's also a three-point buck comes around, but I haven't seen him in a while. He's bigger than this guy, and I think he's the main one. And anyway, it's the time of day where they come in for the apples, and uh, we haven't seen this guy in a while, so we're just happy to see him there. Looks like he's having one of those old red delicious apples. He likes those. Uh, Spike likes the Fuji apples the best. But uh, Again, this is Junior. You can see by his horns, he's uh, got two points on each one there. He's a good looking animal too, but uh, this is the time of day they come and then early in the morning. And when it's foggy, they wait till the fog lifts. They're around here, oh, 7.30, 8 o'clock. Now they're all three in the yard now, so... I'll just keep an eye on maybe we'll get a couple of them in the same uh, video. We like this guy here. Oh yeah, he's going to look for another apple there. Oh yeah, he's got him a good one now. He's uh, having a big red apple this time. Well, we like it when they come here. We've got a lot of windows in the house. In the living room, I look out and I can see whenever there's something move, I can easily spot it. So, and then I do a spot check. I stay right on top of it. But I'm glad he's here. And I'll wait for the doe and the spike to probably get in the same frame with him here. There he's looking at me. All right, you see a good-looking animal. All right. Alright, he's checking around. Spike's coming down now. There he is. So we got Junior and Spike in the same frame now. Mama's up on top. See how they do here. Oh, get back on Junior here. There we go. Yeah, he sees a doe up on top now. He wants to go up there and see what she's up to. He's smelling. He's got her scent. She don't want nothing to do with him. She's coming over here on the back porch. And she's coming back down here to get something to eat. There she is. There we are. She's wanting one of them apples. Let's see what he's doing. He's uh, he's wanting to get romantic, I think. Oh yeah, there he is. Checking everything out here. There we go. There's the buck. He's going over there, following the female. Spike had to run away. They're down below here checking on the apples. He's coming down now. She's coming back up now. There she goes. She's looking for apples. And the buck, he wants to uh, follow her around. He's in a romantic mood here. She's going to go back over the fence. And he says he's going to go follow her. There he is. He's getting ready to jump the fence. Checking out all the scents in the area. There he goes. Wants to see where she went. Hiding over there in the woods, see? Alright. Well, that's Junior. Following all the scents. 
they got places to hide over there in the grass. Checking everything out. Well, this is interesting. One of our deer got tangled up in a rope or something. That's not good. You can see the rope around his neck there. Here comes the doe. Well, that's strange. Well, the doe is just here with the buck. He's got a rope around his horns. This is a bigger buck. He's going to have an apple. And I can't figure out how he got tangled up. And you can see the rope on him. He looks like a pretty good buck there. I'll back off a little bit. Fairly good size rack on him. Anyway, you can see he's got a couple of tines broke off on the other side. He's a good looking animal. But he's had a mishap and he's been chasing our doe around. She's over here getting an apple. And he's letting me make a little video of him. I should come in and see if I can get a close up on this. He's had some damage here with his antlers. Look at this guy. He's dragging that rope. It's wrapped around. There could have been a clothesline or something. I don't know what happened to him. I'll see if I can come in a little closer. There you can see his antlers. He's got a uh, on the left side it broke off and there's that rope around his antler. Well how sad is that? I don't want to figure out what has happened to this guy. Now he's smelling there where Spike usually lays down. Here you can see he's looped around both horns or antlers. But this is that good sized buck that was missing. I've been trying to figure out where he's been, but he's had quite a mishap, looks like. He's a good looking animal. It's too bad he's tangled up here. Well, I don't know how I could help him, but uh, he seems to be in quite a predicament. He's following that doe around, I know that. Okay, we'll see if we can uh, throw him an apple or something here. There he's kind of posing a little bit. Well, I'll let it run on a close-up here and uh, figure out what kind of rope he's got around there. It'll be interesting to see how he got himself into this predicament. Looped around them antlers and then it got tangled up and uh, broke off right there at the fork. You can see on the on the left side he broke off all that on that side. The riser and the two that go to the front have been broken off now. And it's tied around that one there. My goodness. Well, the poor thing anyway. Nice buck, too.